do, do you know any of the women? No. Where are the men? <laughs> Afghanistan. It was really, it was a real sense that they just didn't know you were here, didn't know what was going on. And I think one of the main purposes of this choir is giving you a voice. And I think that means speaking to the rest of the world. So today I want to announce you are going to perform at the Pannier Market. <laughs> yes! It'll be absolutely awesome, won't it? Yes! It doesn't get more exciting and edgy than the pannier market. <laughs> Let me tell you, I went there yesterday, they've got some massive pants on sale. Oh. <laughs> My goodness! When is it? Now, the, here's the rub. It's in two weeks. <laughs> this is the shortest rehearsal period I think I've ever done for anything. Um, but I've done it very deliberately because I want to get them sort of on stream. I, I, we haven't got months and months, so this means getting them in gear. It's a jolt, it really is, a big shock. The Pannier Market on a Thursday, woo! <laughs> um, yeah, scary, very, very scary. It'll be something for the local people just to know what's going on and to show that we do exist. For the Barnstable performance, Gareth has chosen a song he hopes will draw out the women's emotions. Next song, Adele, to make you feel my love. Adele, there is a solo. There is a solo in this piece and I would like to start to hear people. If you are going to do the solo, you have to be prepared to stand up in front of the group and sing it. Because if you can't do it in front of the group, then how are you going to do it in front of an audience? Who'd like to have a go at the solo? <coughs> no? No. No. no? She's got a very, she's got a very different colour, everyone. Sam? No? Definitely not? Why not? Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Sure? End of? Okay. Right, OK. Uh, anyone else? Just give it a go. Kill it. <laughs> Fantastic morning. Round of applause for everyone, I think. With the solo auditions drawing to a close, Sam has a last-minute change of heart. It takes quite a lot to stand up. Do you want to just sing it for me here now, once everyone's gone? Yeah? That's different when it's just, like, one person. OK. I mean, I, yeah, go on. Come on, let's, let's do it. Can we just hear Sam? It wasn't crap. No, I can't do it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I hate how everyone's like looking now. I'm feeling so self-conscious now. Everyone wants to support no, you. but I don't want people to support me. Well done. Well done. <laughs> it's people like they're like they're they're just all there and they're looking at you and you think, well, what are they thinking? Are they thinking you're rubbish or can they hear what I hear, which is absolute rubbish. I just don't enjoy it. Nikki, tomorrow. 
It takes someone with real courage to be able to sing a moving song like that and show a little bit of themselves. Sam failed to sing in front of everyone else. Um, she's super nervous, really, really underconfident, and underconfident in front of the rest of the group, which is a shame because she's actually got a really good voice. I want it to be someone who can sing with heart and guts because that's what the choir needs. Over the last few days leading up to the Barnstable performance, choir members themselves organise last-minute get-togethers at each other's houses. And even Sarah is starting to enjoy singing. I never for one moment thought I would ever sing in a choir. Choirs are stuffy old ladies singing strange songs and wearing odd clothes with pulling these crazy faces while they're singing. The thing I like most is just the camaraderie between all the women. We feel like sisters now, just helping each other out. I think we're so keen to do it that we will really try our best. We are standing together as a group of girls going, actually, I'll be there for you and you'll be there for me and we'll all get through this together. You've got to breathe and be ready. I know you haven't. You've got to do it no matter what. So we can either go and make complete idiots of ourselves <laughs> or we can just go and belt it out and hope it sounds good. Come on, you got more than that. Good. That's getting them. It's just days before the Barnstable performance and Gareth's finally made his decision over who will sing the solo. Good news. Uh, I'd like you to do the solo. Oh, my goodness. Honestly? Yeah, honestly, yes. Wow. I don't know if I'm uh, ready for that this time in the morning. <laughs> I've picked you because I think, actually, under pressure, you'll be fine. Uh, whereas some of the others, I think it's a bit too soon. And I think, I think they might have crumbled, but I don't feel like you're going to, are you? No. No. I promise you I won't. No. <laughs> Just think it's brilliant, and I'm so happy that... He's chosen me. I'll be singing it to George. He'll appreciate it. It's D-Day for Gareth's choir. Hi. 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 You all right? Yeah. Nervous? Yes. Yeah. Your chariot awaits. I really hope for them that, that they feel like they, they've become a choir. It's very different when you're in front of a public audience. It's, uh, there's expectation, it's been advertised. It's a big moment. I'm beginning to understand what giving these women a voice actually means. It's about singing to the outside world, about getting outside this military environment and being heard. Follow me! Up till now, they've just supported their husbands stoically while they're away. And I want them to be proud of who they are, proud of their singing, and sing to all those people out there. Ladies, just sing your hearts out, use your faces, really, you know, wear your heart on your sleeve with this one, and I'll, we'll pick up the pieces later, OK? <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's, let's do it. More than 500 people have packed into the Panier market. Hello, Barnstable! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me enormous pleasure to introduce to you the RMB Chimena Military Wives Choir. I think it's worth you knowing that every single person who you are about to hear sing um, has a partner in the forces. Many of them at the, this very moment are in Afghanistan. They do have a very hard time and they're incredibly stoic. They're just going to get on with it um, in true British spirit, I think. Uh, but here's a, here's a song that I think really shows you how much feeling there is. Um, this is a beautiful song by Bob Dylan, Make You Feel My Love.
sing when their husbands are in danger. I, I don't know how they do it. Brilliant. Well done. Really good. So proud of you. You really sort of blossomed on stage today. Very, very well done. Unbelievable. That feeling, um, the, just couldn't control the emotion. And we, it just, you just had to let it go. Oh, that was amazing. Really good. I really felt part of the choir this time. Surprisingly upbeat and, uh, as you can see, a big smile on the face. When I was on stage, um, I definitely felt the confidence coming back, and I think it was just like the whole adrenaline rush, and I didn't notice the, like 500 plus people, or try not to anyway. So uh, yeah, so I thought we were really good. Well, they were proud to be in the choir, and I think that's the first step. You know, there's a real sense of purpose and mission about the whole thing. It was great, and you see it in their eyes. They sang with real fervour. It was great. Next time. A professional sound engineer is coming from British Forces Radio and we are going to be played out to all of the troops in Afghanistan. <laughs> it's completely appropriate for you to do that and you're ready for it as well.